So, you know, I have yet to actually see his um, unit do work. I Sadly, I don't get to catch all the streams. I know he said that one of the matches, Axel was, like, doing his thing, and he ended up, like, winning the match, like, like yeah. almost, like, like uh, con very convincingly. But I haven't actually gotten to see the unit. So this is my first time actually getting to see Anima Zero's team. Yep, so this is Ama Zero versus Crypt, and it's match 66. Yes, so on is. top, so we've got Axel. The Chemist. Yep. With uh, main gosh, swift plate, these has so 12 speed yet again, and he has talk and finger guard. You know, finger guard is so underutilized, but it's such a good skill. I don't know. And I mean, is talk skill it, its usage kind of equals talk skill? If talk skill is really big in the meta, you see a lot more finger guard. If talk skill has kind of been relegated to the redhead stepchild of yin yang magic, it just it's not <laughs> going to get used. You'd rather well, use. Like a forty faith unit. That's the thing, though. Like, even though Yin Yang Magic is a, I'll use your analogy, the redheaded stepchild. You know, it count Oracle counters the meta. Like Yin Yang Magic really, really hurts them. Like hits the meta really hard. It also enhances it with Douse, but it really hits the meta with Sleep and uh, Paralyzed and Blinding Rage all in the same unit. So if you have an Oracle or someone dedicated to any sort of Yin Yang Magic, um, Castle units can't defend against all three of those. Um, with all three of those statuses, unless if they have armor. But the, the Scholar can really put a hurt on a Yin Yang magic user. That's with, also a good point, yeah. With armor and then defense ring, and then it doesn't quite have a helmet, so it, it does suck there. But that's but how fine. Many I are mean, running Scholars against spell, spell guns and, <laughs> and time major shields. Yeah. All right, so I mean, Berserk and Sleep, the fence ring is meta right now as far as your, it's your go to accessory because of just how easy it is to put Berserk and Sleep out with Yin Yang Magic or with Talk Skill. Um, now, X one thing that I would like to note really quick before we move on to the next unit yeah. is um, even though he has the 40, the, the I mean, sorry, the 40 evasion from Main Gosh, which is still really, really good for evasion, because he's so fast and he has Talk Skill, he's going to be trying to get in really, really close. So hopefully, you know, any melee units or units that only can hit him will try to hit him and hopefully it'll dodge the hits. But, Absolutely. You know, not, he, doesn't, he doesn't have abandon or awareness, so if they do get behind him, he's gonna take a he's gonna take a really really big beating. He has ignore height though, so most likely he'll position himself in a way that they're getting either the front or the side. Mm -hmm. I mean, even on the side, it's still a twenty percent dodge rate. It is still twenty percent. I, I like to personally go with abandoned in that regard if I'm gonna make like super someone who's fast and evasive. But who knows? I, I can't wait to actually see this unit in action. So right. but the next archer is X, correct? Yep, we've got 30 minutes, so we need to hurry up and get this done. Alright, we'll speed this through. So Archer X with 70 brave and 40 faith. He has projectile guard, which would be really good too. Zero the monk. I've never seen a monk with the uh, pole arm before, so this would be interesting. 17. Uh, PA with 70 Brave and 40 Faith. Iris sure. for the Time Mage. Oh, go ahead. Uh, Iris, time search mage. for the protection and then Iris for the Time Mage, sorry. Uh, no, 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 you're perfectly fine. Thank you for uh, pointing that out. Um, don't have to apologize to me. It's your stream. <laughs> 40 oh, Brave fine. and 70 Faith. Uh, Age of Shield as well. Oh, Ilos, the Monk, FS Bag. Uh, which one's FS Bag? Is that Speed or is that PA? I think it's Speed. No? No? Am I stupid? PA. It's PA. It's PA. So, yep. 16 PA. Um, then you got Elsa the Mediator. Uh, just let it go. Dog skill and time mage with Ori Calcum knife. Age of Shield. Triangle hat. So she's protecting from innocent. And I believe Diamond Armlet protects you from absor it's absorbed fire as well Earth. as immune to don't act and don't move. It's Earth. The, you're thinking Defense Armlet. This one's Earth, Slow, and Oil. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. Plus one PA, plus one MA. So it makes okay. her counter magic pretty damn strong. Yeah, that's a 15 MA. So if she hits like counter magic Odin or something, it's going to hit really, really hard. Yeah. All right. Elise the Oracle. Yeah. Uh, LC the Oracle or Elise, whichever one works. Healing Staff, Round Shield, a lot of green. HP Restore. I love HP Restore. Um, white Magic and Yin Yang Magic. So I'm assuming this is the primary support unit with probably a little bit of status. Probably Sleep and Paralyze. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, that's probably what I'm going to guess. And Elise? A life? A leaf. The Scholar. Okay. Prismatic Rod. So she's boosting all three elements. So she probably has uh, Ifrit, uh, Shiva, and um, Ramus, or one of the, or two of the three. And then Lore. 
probably for map wide lures that also use the same elements for prismatic rod and then auto potion to be kind of tanky short charge so she does it quickly and move mp up to keep her mp i noticed that the um counter magic mediator doesn't have move mp up not that talk skill needs it but if she is counter magic or using time magic she has she does not have a way to uh regen her mp by herself summon magic though probably carbuncle probably carbuncle nope okay no carbuncle interesting fairy though and sylph yep. so where are we going we are going for the first match, uh, stage 18, Limberry Castle, and I'm sorry, the second team was Crypt's team, it's Anima Zero, Anima Zero versus Crypt. So, Limberry Castle in the office. Let's do this. Yeah, let's. I always love this map. Really? This I'm not a fan map. of it. <laughs> really? I hate short maps. All my teams are built for mid-range. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, you use guns and chemists a lot. Yeah, so I can't I st can't stand him. So missed on the Mimic Darabon on both uh, units. Oh, and I didn't, I failed to mention that it is indeed an undead unit, so that monk is going to be annoying. Mm. I mean, once you drop him, though, that you've got three whole turns of him doing nothing. That's no revival, point. no nothing. I My Curse Ring units suck because I typically pack a lot of revival on my teams, and so mm -hmm. that's one whole option that they don't have. That's a good point. So Mediator gets stop uh, on the... Um, Archer and the paralyzed misses. The other one jumped. Leviathan. Leviathan does have a chance to miss, but it does a lot of damage. Boom! Hits the time mage and the archer. I mean, a chemist for decent damage. And here comes a jump on the meteor. Two hundred and sixteen. Ooh. Cure and cure. <laughs> the PA save goes up, bringing him to a sixteen PA. Chronos tier on the archer. Good. That's why you love chemists. That reason right there. Teleport, 177 damage on the Mediator, and between the Monk and the Archer, they dropped him. Earth but slash, the Monk nice. Italians, yes, for almost, for near 200 damage, Earth Slash, dropping that guy. And the Monk's just going to keep jumping, so he's barely even here. All right, so uh, raise on the Mediator, and the Chemist goes for Phoenix down, instantaneous resurrection. These are all very low, brave units. Ooh, Quake. And yeah, very low, Quake. Brave. Very, very low brave, and you know, ooh, and 177 damage and 200 damage from the uh, the monk. They don't care about your bravery. Uh, <laughs> monk going for a chakra, healing all three of them. Oracle, the primary support unit, going for a speedy raise, brings back up the mediator, and so does the chemist. However, raise heals him to half, where <laughs> the time mage is at eight, and the mediator goes before the time mage. Knife to the fight. back of the head. Oh yeah, but a quick revive will bring that Time Mage right back up, giving the Time Mage a turn finally. Time Mage will move in position and stop. go for another stop. Yep, miss and Hit stop one. on the Scholar. And don't move on the Oracle, which... Oh, Mediator, my bad. It's yeah, not on the Mediator. Or a Blast on the Monk, 160 damage. The Monk finally here. <laughs> it would have done more, actually, but he has Protect on him. Yeah, uh, that, that would have been lethal. Yep, that would have been lethal. Azuna, uh, he goes for stall. Stall misses. Mediator runs back. Poke in the face. Yep, get poked Didn't in the mouth though. by the obelisk. God, that's such a that's such, whoever named that obelisk. Ugh, I know what you did there. It's so R-rated. Gosh, <laughs> Earth Slash knocks out the monk and heals the mediator. Very, very good synergy right there. And that's why uh, they took the diamond armlet. And then there goes a stop, a cure. Very big cure. And they've Can been down the for... Scholar for the last two turns. Or on yeah, the, the Scholar, they have not healed it. Maybe he doesn't have a way to heal stop. Don't act. Uh... Yep, Chakra on the Monk. Moves over slightly. Time Mage walking forward. They haven't healed the Archer either, actually. So, oh, and the Scholar finally gets to move. That's Quake. Yes, it is. And that's a Monk or a Blast. Crit and moves That's going to be a lethal the... Quake now. Ooh, yes it is. That's a haste. Me... And she's just gonna get healed from it. Yes, she oh, is. Leviathan. oh, Leviathan! That makes sense. Quake would be faster. Leviathan hits. Two units hits, dead. Hits uh, both units. Yeah, drops both of them. So this I... immediately puts him on the defensive, and his chemist is critical. Don't act. He can't even recover his health as the Oracle and the Mediator start to converge on him. Monk comes over here. Aura Blast. Guards by the Archer. The Archer has to... Yep. With a bow. Don't move on the archer, but the archer can't stop the offense. Bio 2. This is why I can't stand leg aim, because the AI keeps thinking it's a stop proc, and it's only a 50% stop proc. If it hits. 
Yeah, I don't have. It's funny though, because you say only fifty percent. Yo, only most teams don't even have stop protection. Um, Archer gets restopped, paralyzed. Donak. Now his team can't even mount a defensive. Repeating fish drops the archer, and the chemist can't do anything to bend himself. So at this point, it is all over but the singing. He's going to try to redirect the stop, and it works. So the chemist, you know. I always root for my chemist, but... Uh, 63% this is... Petrify, he's pretty much done. Yeah, 63%. Must have... Uh, definitely not bad to Pat there. And nope, missed. I love my chemists. Scholar moves up. Another I Leviathan. Think... Yeah. Yep, that's Leviathan. Did Leviathan smart card? Yes, it is. Oh. 113 damage. Gets rid of the don't act proc. Oracle moving over. Going for another Petrify. Monk moving over and letting the rest of his team do his thing. Mediator still stops, so he doesn't have any stop protection, I don't think. And, and Petrify. That's game. Ugh. Ugly, ugly, ugly. Yeah. Yeah, that was actually a really good match. I was really thinking that the Archer's early offense was really going to create, like, a big dent, but it wasn't enough after the, the status, you know. All right. Match number two. Or round yep. number two between... It was match 66. It was... Match 66. Anima match Zero and Crypt. Yes, Anima Zero versus Crypt. And next time... And this map is 87. Barius Valley. It's going to be a large map. All Barius right. Valley. Yeah, I could have sworn the Archer was going to do more, but I guess um, because of all the status being flown around, the Archer just couldn't handle it. Stop Don't Aston is very, very tough. And the Archer, funny enough, was getting Don't Move procs, but not a whole lot of Stop procs. I think he no. only got one. Yeah. All right, Chemist moves forward. Bump starts off with, guess what? It's Masa Moon. <laughs> it's always Masa Moon. When is it not Masa Moon? All right. Actually, the archer will be able to take advantage of the terrain with the teleport. So hopefully, um, the archer can like perch himself like right in the middle without taking too much uh, uh, backlash for it. If he could get up on either one of those hills, that'd be perfect. Yeah. The, yep. Isolate himself in the water. So then the only way you can hit him is with spells. And if you can just take out the spell casters from there, he'll be in really good shape. Oh, the way we'd play it versus the AI. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> so, they're getting ready to charge at one another. Mimic Darabon for a mid-charge misses. You know, actually, I just realized this. With the way we have Skype and everything, if we could make everything controllable, we could actually mm -hmm. do two-player arena. Not sure you how much could. work I mean, that would involve the ASMers, but we could, and actually relatively could. quickly. I mean, you would have to ask um, DW. Getting back to the match. Oh my Holy God. cow! Goodness, quadruple Leviathan. But they've got a stop proc on the Mediator, stopping any kind of offense. So hopefully that can do something. And the Archer actually teleports to the cover water. Fire for three. Triple Returning cover the fire. You have the cover fire fix, I assume. I do. I do. Okay, great. So auto potion. So the scholar negated a lot of that damage, but then the potion thrown directly into that and 228 damage on the mediator. Mediator gets dropped. Big jump. Very, very. Raise. However, another cure that Strike drops the month. So now he's down for three turns. That's gonna be a quake. Uh possibly. It might be an yep, it is a quake. And I was and that hits the arch. Oh. Triple quake. Only for 100 damage, though, but I mean, it's still 100 damage that they're not healing. Stop proc on the archer. Axel the chemist doing his thing. Kronos tier. Axel, I might have to put that team on my season. I'm going to put that unit specifically on my chemist team. <laughs> so, archer moving closer and closer to that hill just to get some cover fire. Mid charge and kills the oracle. Time mage walking back. Going to go for some healing, most likely. Monk moving up. Chemist is going to X potion himself. Cure three, they're all topped off now. Back to full health. Scholar is going to has to play support, so no Quaker Leviathan. And Barry. Only 102. Well, I mean, Barry doesn't heal that much anyway. So haste on both of uh, the units. Mediator is going to hang back since um she hasn't been healed, and this is going to be a big jump. Another archer hit, cover fire on both units, putting the oracle in the critical and dropping the meteor. The, the jump is going to actually drop that oracle. And if this stall proc hits, nope, doesn't hit. So now 
This is really an Anima Zero's favor. I don't, without a fairy hit, yeah, okay, so the fairy might save it for Chris. The fairy might save them, which um, synergizes well with the um, sandbagging, the sandbagginess that he needs to get the monk back up. Because right now, the monk is, still has no way of getting back up, and the archer is just wreaking havoc with cover fire. And the moment they land a stop or a, uh, don't act on the um, Scala, the Scala is going to have a bad day. Or sleep. Misses. Stop. Stop. Misses. Either. Oof. The Scala is dodging everything. The Archer the is Archer's out of MP. There is no more cover fire to be had, though. You're absolutely right. There is none. And but a stop the proc. So now, so now it might, might be over. And it depends on what the monk's timer is. But I think this might be over. And a don't move. Monk is going for a nasty jump. Archer going to follow up with an army. Don't act, don't move, and stop. Just, this scholar is getting hit with all the statuses. 249 jump before the monk can get back up, and that is Anima Zero's game. All right, on to the medium map we go. Yes, also, because people probably are asking what color is who, uh, Crypt is yellow, or gold, rather, and Anima Zero is blue. All right, what map are we going to, Alpha? We are going to 116 Medium, the arena. Probably my, one of my favorite maps, actually. Is that the one where we added the fire into it? Did you guys add fire? I might not have that. Oh, no, this... Oh, this one. Yeah, this is actually one of my favorite arenas. It's just no holds barred. I love using... I love testing units on this uh, one because it tells me if the um, units are going to be good on a flat map versus um, if they're going to be good with, um, like, a whole bunch of, like, hills and stuff. 238, opening up on the archer. You know, that monk only gets, like, a couple of moves before he gets dropped almost every map. <laughs> I think like, the problem is he's undead. Yeah. I think that's honestly more of a weakness um, than a strength because uh, he's very vulnerable to the white magic, which is really popular right now. It always will be. Uh, paralyze on the archer. Don't act. So we have don't act on one unit and um, don't move on another. Leviathan. Damage on one. And then yep, jump land. Big jump. So she, he th redirected the stop and then jumped to avoid it. Yes, he did. Yes, he Jerk. did. Bandage. I can appreciate that. Oh, Earth Slash hey, on two? Oh, just yeah. one. Earth Slash on two. PA save. It would have been lethal, I'm, I'm, so, I'm assuming, or at least put him in critical if he didn't have protect. Sleep goes off. Finally, a Mimic Darabon actually goes off. And a poke with the Obelisk, dropping the Monk yet again, so we won't see him for three turns unless he immediately gets back up. Paralyzed goes off. And misses raise on oh, the chemist. You know what I also like that the because he has raise and the cure three, he's not wasting the raise in the CT on the undead monk. He's just gonna use cure three because it just deals that much more damage. I'm liking Leviathan. So, I don't I don't usually think to use Leviathan. That's a dead monk. <laughs> yeah, that's a very dead monk. Yeah, most people don't usually use them because they have a chance to miss and you know um, other problems as well, but. You know, they're, they're not bad spells. I also am pretty fond of Salamander because of the oil proc right after. So the sec the follow-up spell is going to hit harder. Petrify on the 51 time. 51 lands. Ooh, bad news for Anima Zero. Yes, and then a follow-up Leviathan. On the monk and the chemist, chemist is going to heal himself. And it goes all the way to the corner. Uh, the archer is still asleep. Monk got stopped. The archer's gonna stay asleep until that monk comes up, most likely. That's a good point. And then that Paralyze. monk will just kill him. Paralyzed misses and soft on the time mage, so the time mage is back online. That's a quake, which is going to heal the mediator and drop the monk. So both monks down, but the undead monk's gonna be coming up very soon. Stall misses on the time mage. Ooh, 51% petrify again. Yeah, that, that those petrifies. Very, very tough. As long as Not the chemist is alive, it doesn't really matter. That's also a good point. As long as the chemist is alive and the chemist is, um, you know, pretty a good amount of speed as well. So the chemist is always going to be able to react to it. Petrify does indeed go off. Monk finally gets a chance to move. Stigma magic also gets rid of the petrify. So he has enough ways to get rid of petrify where it shouldn't be too much of a problem. Leg game, don't move. 
again, the AI thought that would be a stop right there. 67% yep. to do a stop, pretty good. We'll go for it. Instead, it turns into a don't move. Yep, absolutely. You know, that's that's exactly how the AI works. You know, they'll always go for a certain move. That's why they spam roulette, because mm -hmm. it has a chance to instant dead someone. Or frog them. Uh, time... Go ahead. Or frog them, you know. Or it frog them. Frog. Frog or frog them. I only say instant dead. Wow, double don't act. Ugh. Oh, man. That really sucks. And, and then a stop on the monk. But at least the time age will cure them. We'll see how that plays out. The, it looks like the undead monk isn't getting directly back up, you know. So the monk is going to be down for a little bit longer. But with the two units, with the chemist not being able to act, he's going to run. And that's a leviathan. It deals about 100 damage. And the time mage guards it, absorbs the MP. Time, uh, monk gets back up, going to end the chemist. 170. Ability to dodge high damage physical units are just going to win. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's funny, actually, as much offense as the blue, like as much as they've been healing and doing stuff, the blue mage actually hasn't been casting a whole lot of damage. No. They've just been doing a lot of resurrections, a lot of leg hames, stuff like that. But not a whole, they haven't been throwing a lot, a lot of damage. And between the stop and the petrify, it's two units out, out of commission. Chemist walks right over to the monk, executes him. Uh, monk is the other monk. The blue monk is still stopped. Quake going off, healing the mediator most likely. Nope, just wants to do the damage. Stop finally wore off. Time mage walking over here and getting ready to cast another spell. Chemist doesn't have a chance to uh, go and soft the archer because he needs to heal. Finally, pokes with the monk. Finally, he can mount some sort of offense. Azuna going off. Finally, gets rid of the petrified, but. Petrified the chemist. Petrified mm. the chemist, so that's a lot of his status removal just gone. Finally, his um, team is finally going to mount an offense, so, you know, Adam Azuro is probably hoping that they would mount and do some damage. Uh, staff Whack. Fact. Yep, Staff Whack kills. Monk Poke. Healing the and, opponents, great. This yeah, time really turning against that's, Crypt. Yep, that's why the time mage moved over. That's why I stick to cure four so, solely because of the fact that it uh, cures only. It, it cures exactly who I wanted to cure, and no one else. Um, stop hits the archer, and slow the time two. mage is charging. I'm sorry, what'd you say? Probably a slow two coming off the time Probably. mage. Probably, most likely paralyzed. Kind of redundant now that he stopped. Don't move. don't move. You don't see that too often. Guarded and missed. I would have loved to see that happen. Mimic Darabon. Um, misses. The monk gets directly back up. Earth Slash. Guarded right. by the monk. But now the uh, undead monk is back up and the chemist is directly in front of him as a statue. So they can't get to him uh, immediately. Stigma magic. Hopefully the chemist can uh, get behind the monk and uh, take him out with a knife. And, re and raise back on the scholar. Stop misses. And stop ends on the archer. And gets reapplied immediately. <laughs> You're killing me. Who, me or him? No, Crypt. Crypt's team is just stuck. <laughs> it's like Shintroy 2.0. <laughs> Maybe it is. Maybe it's Shintroy in disguise. Nah. Uh, I'm I kidding. like Crypt more than that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's because so, I'm fighting Shintroy this round. Oh, that's why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mimic D. No, nothing. Good luck on those matches, by the way. Yeah, you too. Thank you. I don't want the luck, though. I didn't, no, that's correct. That's me correct. I, I'm sorry. Yeah. I apologize. Take it back. Here comes tell me petrify. I'm going to lose. <laughs> point blank petrify at that. Yeah, point blank petrify. And the time age is probably going for a uh, don't move, actually, now that we uh, know that he, he has it. Yeah, I don't think back. there's slow two on that time mage. I think it's just oh stop. It's stop. Yeah, and I think it's just stop and don't move, which actually hits this time. The chemist also moved away from the stop, so this is actually starting to turn in Adam Zero's favor as his undead unit is dropped. The chemist is, I mean, the scholar's dropped. The scholar, the art, uh, uh, the oracle finally takes some damage from the archer, and I think the chemist is going to execute him. Very nice. Monk's gonna move in with the poke. Mediator doesn't have one more hit on Medi that mediator. She's dead. Yeah, Mediator can't heal himself either. So Mediator at this point is just going to be trying to... Oh. Yep, never mind. Archer oh, mid-charts kills, and Anim Zero comes back in the arena for 2-1. So Anim Zero takes it, correct? It, yes, very much so. Wow, that was great. Um, good job, everyone. That's uh, 64 through 66, and we will finish up at a later point, 67. 
uh, probably tonight, um, and I will post everything to the forum tonight. Uh, Kashkabald, feel free to take over on 68 Forward. All right. Thank GG, you all guys. for joining me. That was a lot of fun. Um, we're going to have to do this again sometime. Absolutely. And you're tired. <laughs> no, I'm, I've got other stuff I have to do, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, GG either way. And 